Hello, I am Alejandro Tomasello from Neurointerventional Department in by the Brand Hospital in Barcelona. In the next minute, I will share with you all our protocols to face the patient with COVID-19 and how are we managing uh, this new crisis. General subject, it's important to put the epidemic prevention in the first place. Also, reinforce the communication and education regarding the disease and how to use the self-protection, working with the logistic department to get all the necessary PPE. We made dedicated workflows to prevent the cross-transmission uh, and regarding the workload, we are treating only emergencies. To prevent the cross-transmission, we perform uh, staff uh, segregation. We have four different groups. Each group have a physician, and a nurse, technician, and also an anesthesiologist. We put a surgical mask to our patient, and if it is necessary to intubate, we don't have a special room to do it, but we leave the anesthesiologist with few people uh, to perform the intubation. Concerning the imaging uh, protocols, we add to the normal study a CT evaluation, and if we couldn't, we start the CTA from the base of the diaphragm in order to cover all the chest. It's very useful this information not only to select your PPE, also it's important uh, to know where do you will send your patient after the treatment. For a negative COVID patients, we use the we dress as usual, use the FPP2 mask and protective goggles. With a COVID positive patient, we use the hand and shoot, FPP3 mask, double cap, double gloves, and protective uh, goggles. We always put uh, on the patient a surgical mask and use any disposable lead screens and to make barrier in between the medical team and the, and the patient. We also put all the disposable in a biological waste bin, which is then uh, collected for incineration and activate a special train cleaners team and we prepare the, the engine suite for the next patient. One remarkable thing is the lack of enough protection, like mask, and for this reason we started to print this connector in our 3D print printer and we using this filter from the ventilator, we connect here and we connect here to the diving mask and this mask is approved by our institution to use in positive COVID patients. I hope all this information is useful for you to keep safe and to treat your patient. Please don't hesitate, contact me and I really wish that all this happened quickly. Bye bye.